Hey everybody, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. I wanted to show you this soft box that I'm standing beside. This is a device that is used in photography and video applications to deliver a higher quality light to your subjects. The way that it works is it diffuses any light that is behind here. It comes up through and is baffled by a piece of cloth, continues on to the front diffuser. These ribs on the front allow you to directionally light things for more control, although not needed for the soft box. When used correctly, these eliminate shadows on your subject, and it's a very highly regarded piece of equipment for professional video and photographers. It's one of those tools that it's a must for good quality. Well, here at the shop, I've been wanting to use more soft boxes to light my green screen and I thought I would go ahead and make my own out of common parts that you can find around the, the house and office supply store. You know this soft box cost around $250 and that does not include the light behind here. That's additional. So it makes sense to build my own. So stay tuned and I will show you how I'm going to make a soft box for a four foot fluorescent light using, you know, ordinary parts. So hang out for that and we'll get started. I went ahead and grabbed most of the materials and tools that I'll be using for this build. The basic structure is going to be this four foot fluorescent tube light. This was about ten dollars at uh, you know a home store and it has a regular plug on it and we're actually going to build it out of this and use these um, flares on this thing, this reflector to our advantage to mount the the softbox material. We'll get into that in a minute. So we have one two bob fluorescent tube holder that's four foot long with the three prong plug on it here. And you know, things like machine screws, we're gonna be using some of those. We're going to be using this foam core board and I have four sheets of the black and four sheets of the white. And the reason why I went with two different colors is because um, I want it be, to be really reflective in the inside with the white and then I want the outside to be more of a black. That's why I went ahead and got the two different ones. Of course we're going to be using the glue gun, assorted tapes, measuring tools, and this fabric. This fabric I just went to the um, fabric store and picked out, this is a polyester and I took my flashlight with me and what I did is I just shined it up through the fabric like this and took a look at the properties of the actual fabric. The most important thing of course is that it's semi-opaque and it's not going to be real heavy to block a lot of the light and then the other thing would be that it's a true white if this is um, you know tan or something like that it's not going to give you a good color balance when you when you're photographing so I think I got like a yard and a half of this and you can see it was five dollars the light fixture was like I said about ten and um, of course I need to get the bobs for that more about that later and the poster board, I think the white was $2, and the foam board black was around uh, $4. Okay, so with all these parts, we're going to go ahead and start assembling. Like I said before, I'm going to use this reflective case on this light as my base and build it out. So let's go ahead and get some tools and get started with this build. All right, I'm ready to begin um, marking up this lamp fixture. Like I said before, this is a four foot fluorescent tube, like a shop light is what it's sold as. And it runs about 10 bucks without the bobs. 
what I plan on doing is using that poster board and building off these two flanges like this and this and that'll create the v-shape that I need for my soft box and then out here will be the fabric and I'll also have a baffle inside as well and I plan on just attaching it with these machine screws these are 1032 by half and I'm only using these because I have them available to me so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this up for the screw positions and then take it in the other room and begin drilling the screw holes out and also I did want to mention that when these bobs are in here I want to keep it keep the screw down near this flat part because if the screw head is up here it might interfere with the bob so I'm gonna go ahead and drill as close as possible to this flange black's going to go over the top here just right down to this edge and it's going to leave a one inch profile here and then my material for the soft box the cloth is going to tuck in behind here that's how it's going to work I've used fluorescent lights in the past and they seem to be the best for video and I, you know you can buy them just about anywhere it's not a special bob at all it's just found in a regular hardware store so I'm gonna go with those and uh, we'll get this thing together what I'm gonna do next is make a cap for each end with the white and I have a template and I'll put a link in the description to a template that you can make this out of the scrap pieces that came off the white here so I'm going to need two of these I've got one of them cut out and if you notice down here it's um, it doesn't go all the way down and that's so you can change bobs as well as this thing will be able to breathe and release heat even on the uh, professional ones that I have they all have a little door on the top that you open to release unwanted heat inside that might build up so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these in I need to cut out one more You can see on the scrap piece here, I actually have to cut in an awkward position just to get the piece out of there, but uh, it is possible with the scraps that you cut off. And this will give it strength when we start stretching the fabric. It'll want to pull these closed. It'll want to push them together. So this keeps it from pushing together.
Looks good. Just got to get the other side now. Alright, well I'm now laying out my fabric for the inner baffle. Like I said before, there's actually two layers of this fabric. One is internal to buffer the, the light and then the final piece goes on the outside. So I'll put all the cut dimensions in the description, but I'm going to cut this 46 by 11 and that'll allow it to fit down in there. And I'm going to add an inch all the way around for um, a little hem that I'm going to get put on the edge of the material so it doesn't fray. So the cut dimensions of this piece will be uh, 46 by 11. So it's going to fit down in here about like this and I'm going to anchor it by the corners with elastic or something. That's what they use in the professional ones is elastic. I don't know if I have any of that, but I'll look. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a small hem all the way around this. So here's a chopstick that we put in two inches down from the top and just angled it two inches out. And this is the fabric for the baffle, for the inside baffle that I've been working on. And what we did is we just took a piece of fabric that would fit down inside here. It's going to tie on to these dowels and stretch across this whole light box. So let me tie that on and then I'll show you what it's going to look like. Okay, so I did modify it a little bit further. What I did was I put some Velcro strips on this part right here and um, that way I can just loop it around pull it tight clamp it so that's how the baffle is going to be held in okay so here's the finished product it's a giant four foot soft box and we used velcro to put this front screen on here that way we can take it off and wash it if we need to I think it turned out pretty good Remember, if you want the plans for this, I'll leave it, a link in the description below. And you can build your own. And if you do, leave me a, a comment that you did so. I'd like to actually take a look at it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.